everyone, my name is Matthew Clip, and for those who don't know, April is Autism Acceptance Month, a time of year where we try to focus on different issues and events facing those in the autism spectrum. One of the biggest events is one that many people outside the spectrum don't know about. It's actually a charity that claims to help autistics, the biggest autistic charity in the world. And yet despite their massive number and size, they have undergone many controversies. They're simply known as Autism Speaks. There are five fundamental flaws of Autism Speaks. How they represent us, who they support, their leadership, how they decide to use their money, and their end goal in research. Over the years, Autism Speaks has chosen to portray autistics as a disease, a burden, and as non-living. One of the most infamous examples of their ads was an ad called I Am Autism, which we will play for you now. I am autism. I am visible in your children, but if I can help it, I am invisible to you until it's too late. I will make it virtually impossible for your family to easily attend a temple, a birthday party, a public park, without a struggle, without embarrassment, without pain. You have no cure for me. Your scientists don't have the resources, and I relish their desperation. Your neighbors are happier to pretend that I don't exist, of course, until it's their child. I am autism. I have no interest in right or wrong. I derive great pleasure out of your loneliness. I will fight to take away your hope. There are many things disturbing about that video. One of them is the overgeneralized way they choose to project autistics. They make it seem like anyone with autism is a burden on their families. This is horribly inaccurate. Many autistics are able to live highly successful lives and are able to cope functionally well in this world. In fact, many geniuses were autistic, including Albert Einstein, Sir Isaac Newton, Nikolai Tesla, and Charles Darwin. There's also some outright misinformation, such as, I work faster than pediatric AIDS, diabetes, and cancer combined. Autism is not fatal. Autism does not directly kill you. And there's also the information that could be harmful and measly misunderstood. I will make sure your marriage fails. Over 50% of marriages in the United States fail. There is a high chance that an autistic child could come from a divorced family that could have divorced for entirely different reasons. But because of a video like this, they now believe they are the reason their parents are split up. We are not a burden. We are not inferior and we are not a disease. They filmed this video like they would have filmed an old ad back then for AIDS. We are not a disease. We are people, we are human, and we have a voice. Autism Speaks received controversy when they were mentioned alongside the Judge Rotenberg Center. The Judge Rotenberg Center is a institution in Massachusetts. It's the only institution left in America to still use aversive therapy, using punishments as a sort of treatment. One of the most infamous examples of this was the GED, the Graduated Electronic Decelerator. It is a device that students must wear 24-7, and if they are disobedient, they are shocked. One version of GED model uses 45.5 milliamps. The average cop taser only uses 3 milliamps. It is used on patients as young as 9 years old. It has been it often malfunctions, causing people to be shocked randomly. There have been multiple complaints about severe burns, and of six people have died at the Judge Rotenberg Educational Center. Other forms of treatment they use at the Judge Rotenberg Center is starving them to only 20% of the recommended calorie intake and locking them in an isolated room. Another issue people have with Autism Speaks is how they use the money donated to them. For every dollar you give to Autism Speaks, only a penny and a half actually goes to the autistic families. More money goes to advertising and to the people themselves. How can they claim to be helping out autistics when they barely even give over a percent to them? There's also been multiple occasions where chief science officers have given themselves salaries over $450,000 in a year. Despite research being one of the main focuses of Autism Speaks, it often is one of the most controversial. They've tried to focus on how to suppress or cure autism rather than help cope with it, which has led to much controversy. They also have waited until 2017 
in order to stop researching into the link between autism and vaccines, a belief that was proven incorrect in 1998 and wasted tons of research time and money on this development. Another issue people have with Autism Speaks is their leadership. One would think an autism charity would be run mostly by either autistics or those in the medical field. However, in this case, it's mostly businessmen. 23 out of 31 of the board members have a high position in business. These businesses include eBay, Samsung, Goldman Sachs, PayPal, FX Network, CBS, Sirius XM. 12 out of 31 of the board members are CEOs of these companies. Only 4 out of 31 hold any kind of medical degree, and only 2 out of 31 are autistic. How could Autism Speaks claim to speak for autistics when they have little to no autistics to listen to? Autism Speaks is a major issue for those on the autism spectrum. If you wish to try to do something about it, spread awareness by letting other people know these facts. You can use hashtags like hashtag boycott autism speaks, hashtag autism deserves better, hashtag right instead, and hashtag speak the truth. For more information, check on It's Learning for the regular main presentation and for the sources and extras presentation. You should also consider donating to other autism charities. The two charities I recommend are the, is the OAR, the Organization for Autism Research. They use their donations to help out um, autistics using scientific methods without trying to necessarily cure them, instead of trying to teach them how to harness their inner potential. They also help them find jobs, and they also support military families of autistic children. There is also the ASAN, the Autism Self-Advocacy Network. Their motto is nothing about us without us and are advocates for autism rights and advocacy. They are some of the main people speaking out against Autism Speaks and the Judge Rosenberg Center. If you wish to donate to these two charities, consider buying the Autism Pride pins for the fundraiser. They are only $2 each and all the money goes directly to these two charities. Together we all might be able to make a difference and allow the autism to be taken care of by better charities than Autism Speaks and perhaps provide autistics a better future.